and then in green is Logier 8. Two laps. Changeover, first changeover coming up. Pitlochery still in the lead. Two Bredorbans are fighting it out for second and third at the moment. A smooth hand over there for Pitlochery. Shifting gear. Bredorban in the chase. Pitlochery 4 and then Logier 8. Come on, give them a wee bit of a hand round this corner. Still Pitlochery holding on. Next changeover coming. Still the same order, but it's closing up. It's going to be a really exciting last round. Well done, Logier 8. And the last handover. Pitlochery in the lead still. Now the second Pitlochery team has moved up into third place. So it's Pitlochery, Bredorban, Pitlochery, Bredorban, Luger 8. Final changeover. Bredorban really having closed the gap. Final leg. Pitlochery, Bredorban. Pitlochery, Bredorban. And Luger 8. And this looks like it's going to be a tight finish. Pitlochery and Bredorban. Who's going to finish? Oh my goodness. Bredorban one. Pitlochery two. And again, Bredorban three. Pitlochery four. And a big hand to Logier eight. Well done. Thank you. 
Govan Community Fight Band coming in, led by Thomas Rankin and wearing the Royal Stuart Tartan, while the 100 metres now unfold. This is tough in this heat. They need your help. Come on, guys. That's a tough race. Let's see them all home. <laughs> race for boys underway. As they come through, they've got two laps to go. <laughs> so Kyle Randall's there, who won that last event, was very near that record. Here he goes this time on the heavy hammer. Well done again. Just to let all premier dancers know that we'll be doing the reel, the Strathbane Reel of Tillers, just on this centre platform. So could I ask the 11s and the 13s to report to their station, please? And then we'll take it one set at a time. 800 metres taking the bell now. They're going to need your support as they go round. This is a hot afternoon. This is a long race. Calling John Weir. Calling John Weir to come to the arena to speak with Charlie Murray. John Weir to the arena for Charlie Murray, please. Julesig again from the Czech Republic on the hour. How's the handicap going? Unfolding well. In Rosson District coming on to the grade 4A. And what a finish here in the boys. Alfie Lane is the winner. Rory Fleming in second place, and Archie Scott, who's not collapsing, the other two have. Uh, well done, all of you. What a race. Keep coming. Well done. Not over yet. Well done, guys. <laughs> there was a wee bit left in the tank after all. <laughs> 
Here come the girls. Amber Cunningham in the lead, I think. They're taking the bell this time, so one more lap after this. Just pacing themselves here. Don't worry about the old guys, they're not taking part. You're going to see them later, though. <laughs> Meanwhile, down the back straight. Well, we've got a one-two fight here at the moment. And a new leader. <coughs> this is the handicap unwinding, of course. And all credit to our handicapper for all the work he does behind the scenes and on the day. And here we are. Let's welcome them home. Well done, girls. Excuse me. And still more to come. Well done. And meanwhile, Burns Island. So be prepared for a wee bang. And they're off. Four laps to go, bit of cat and mouse. The two at the back have been former winners of this uh, competition, Dean Whiteford 
and Craig Robertson. Uh, it's possibly my fault that Craig is running today because he spent his entire year sitting on a tractor instead of running. But gamely he has taken up the challenge to run in this great race. Robbie Welsh and Finley Murray in the lead at the moment. Declan <laughs> Gold and Callum Latham are third and fourth, and then Dean Whiteford and Craig Robertson. It'll be a wee bit cat and mouse in this game too. with two laps to go. Go Finley! So we have uh, three teams taking part in the tug of war today. We are, have Strathardo, Strathdee and Moffat Builders. Give them a nice welcome into the arena everyone, the tug of war. This is the British Championship eight aside. Good luck to them today. Our two teams pulling Moffat Builders in the navy blue and Struth Ardle in the green and yellow. Best of three ends as always. Good luck to these teams. On the tug of war then. John Weir from Elgin is judging. Teams again, Moffat Builders in the navy blue against Strathardle in the green and yellow. Bar flat. Come on everyone, let's help lift them home. As they come round. Robbie Welsh holding off an attack. No, we've got a new leader now. Finley Murray now in the lead. Thank Robbie trying to come back a wee bit. He was last year's winner. But Finley Murray, East Sutherland, has got this one in the bag. Well done. Robbie Wells coming in next, led most of the way. Now some great strength and concentration on this tug of war rope then. Where is this going to go between Moffat Builders and Strathardle? Declan Gall coming in in third. Dean Whiteford in fourth. Slight edge here towards Moffat Builders then. On this first day, Craig Robertson Ooh. coming in. All the tug of war. Well done, guys. So the winner of the 1600 meters scratch is Finley Murray. The third winner of the Common Little Cup. And also won the championship of the Highlands. The Red Lichty Tartan. A 
Now look at this tug of war rope, everyone. They're holding fast. It's gone no direction at all between these two teams. Holding fast, Strathdee in the black, Strathardle in the green. Robert, you'll be sure to let us know if there's any movement over there. We can't see any. None at all. Meanwhile, here come the cyclists taking the bell. And there's a lot of pack. Bit of movement on that tug of war rope. And Ewan Bradley looking for a bit more encouragement on his second jump on the triple jump. It's going towards Strath D in the black and white then. Keep up some slow clapping for you and Bradley on the triple jump, everyone. And here come the cyclists furiously lap round that last corner. Whoa, a wee bit of a wiggle. Just to remind you how this uh, texture is on bikes. Still going, this tug of war in first end. Some slow clapping again on the triple jump. And these two tug of war teams are still holding tight here. Meanwhile, we have the club relay underway. And the winners of that last event for the Open Heavies throwing the 28 pound weight for distance with a winning distance of 66 feet 6 inches was George Evans from Edinburgh. In second place was John McLeod from Inverness and in third place was Craig Winslow from Glasgow. On the relay, Clyde Sale in the lead, Kelso in second place, Springburn in third place. And then Clydesdale again, they have two teams in. Kelso is overtaken already, a great handover. Clydesdale in second place. This is going fast on the tug of war again then towards Strathy. That's a second in winning end to them everyone. Give them a round of applause, well done. Now on the cable this time, this is Kyle Randalls everyone from Grainsmouth. Clydesdale coming through now at the end. Kelso's overtaken though. I beg your pardon. Clydesdale's overtaken. Kelso in second place. Springburn in third place. They need your help. Clydesdale coming in last. But a great race by them all. races and we're going to start with girls under the age of seven there are some cash prizes for children so the handicapper will be on the, the track and if uh, we're going to do girls first and then boys and we have three different age groups we have an age group up under seven then seven and under 12 and 12 and under 16 so girls under the age of seven if you come first uh, heat of the 200 meters underway as they whiz around the track okay. can we take a final bow for your overall Individual overall winners and then we'll sort this out for the Oh, the girls are there. The other envelopes, okay? Take a final bite. And here goes the second heat. Okay, Dan, so sorry about that. Little computer glitch, but I knew by names that 80s were not in those groups. Oh, and here somebody pulled up, unfortunately. Come over, please. Third heat underway. It's a much bigger heat for some reason. 
A lot of competition here. Wow, look at this. Height for the weight over the bar. Then we're up to 13 feet, everyone. 13 feet. Yes, clear up. The way the handicap is, she's actually currently second at the moment. And here's Angela's dad. He's in third place. Yes, George Evans, well done. Sam is still in the lead. And this is the way of a handicap. He's going to be taking the bell. And Angela Bell is in second place. So the handicap is now unwinding. And Jimmy gone there, well done and Jimmy. Angela's dad is in third place, but the cavalry is arriving. Forever known as Angela's daddy, brilliant. Now they're all going on to the final lap. And it's all going to unfold quite quickly. There's now a change in the leadership. No. Angela is in the lead. Craig Winslow needs some encouragement here. This is his third try. Wait over the bar, everyone. Over here. Come on. Let's hear it for Craig. Can he do it? Sadly well done, Craig. Wow, this is some race. Angela Bell in the lead. Angela's dad in second place. Sam Bates in third place. But here comes the cavalry. Here comes Robbie Welsh in the blue. And oh, oh, yes. Gets third. Well done. And Sam, come on. This is a moment. 76 years old. Sixth place. Wonderful. So, 400 meters, boys, on the way. Can we to get this one over then, everyone, at this height? Kyle Randall, so come on. Much bigger cheers for Kyle here, come on. Keep, keep it up, here he goes. Oh, sadly not. A wee cheer for a great competitor all day, Kyle Randalls from Grangemouth. And here we unfold the handicap, again for a looking like a tight finish maybe. Some of the bigger lads from the back are now working their way through. It's not over yet. Come on, give them a hand. What a finish. Come on, come on. Well done, boys. Well done, all of you. Now, the record for the weight over the bar here at Pitlochry is 15 feet 11 inches, everyone. So this is now sitting at 16 feet.
There we go. The girls are away. 400 meters once around the track. Handicap being on one. The mass parade of bands will probably be in about half an hour or so. We've got plenty more on the track until we manage to get them all together. And this little peloton's going to have to sort itself out too. But we've got a clear leader now. Well done. Great work coming in there. And how we separate these ones, this is tough. <laughs> Come on then, crowd, give them a cheer. Here they go, the final of the 200 meters. Come on everyone, look at them chasing all the way. Come on at this point in the day. It's been a long, long day for these athletes. Number six and seven chasing. But who's gonna get it? All the way to this final line. Look at number three and number two in second place. Well done indeed. here everyone so all the way around on this last lap there's Angela then now come on keep it up for them Ian Niblick and Dean Whiteford and Stav Andrew Gibson here and Robbie Welsh behind us and Sean Bates number 261 Angela still out in the lead, everyone, on this last lap, come on. Cheer them all the way home on this two-mile race. They're chasing it out right round at that top corner. What's going to happen here then? Look at this. So who's going to win it, everyone? Dean Whitefoot coming into the lead then. Dean Whitefoot going to win it. Number 231, Dean Whiteford. Come on, Angela. She's 
Again, give them a big cheer. Off they go then. 400 meters. All getting the belt. Let's see what happens then. Out in the lead at the moment. <laughs> Natasha Turnbull then. Lauren Kerr behind her in the pink. Rory McDonald and Declan Cole now into third place. Come on, everyone. Give them a cheer. This is just one lap. Give them all encouragement. Sell Natasha out in the lead. Lauren, but look at Declan go then. Look at Declan go from Dundee. Number 16. Come on, everyone. A bigger cheer when they come to the line. Here they go. Declan still hanging in there. Well done. A big smile as he crosses the line there. Declan go. Last wages finish everyone. 
Thank you.